The year is 2024, tension hangs heavy in the air, thick as the salty sea spray. A US Navy carrier strike group, a floating fortress bristling with firepower, steams through the contested waters of the Western Pacific. Leading the pack is a Nimitz-class behemoth, its flight deck teeming with F-35S, the pride of American air power. But on the horizon, a new challenger appears. It's the Nanchang, a sleek and deadly Type 055 destroyer, the pride of the People's Liberation Army Navy. This isn't just a game of naval chess, it's a high-stakes poker game, and the anti, regional dominance. The Nanchang isn't there to back down, it's there to send a message. There's a new player in town, and they're not afraid of a fight. This real-world encounter wasn't a Hollywood action flick, but a stark reminder of the shifting tides in naval power. It highlighted the growing capability of the Chinese Navy and the potential vulnerability of even the mightiest aircraft carriers in the face of new, deadly technology. The game of naval dominance is changing, and the Type 055 destroyer is at the forefront of this transformation. For decades, the measure of a nation's naval power was clear, the battleship. These steel titans armed with massive guns ruled the waves from the turn of the century to the Second World War. But the conflict that engulfed the globe from 1939 to 1945 saw a new king emerge, the aircraft carrier. The Battle of Midway, a turning point in the Pacific War, proved the devastating power of carrier-based air power. The U.S. Navy, with its superior carriers and aircraft, crippled the Japanese fleet, marking a turning point in the war and ushering in a new era of naval warfare. From that point on, the carrier became the undisputed queen of the seas. But like all monarchs, their reign might not last forever. China, a rising giant with a long maritime history, took note of these shifting tides. While the US Navy basked in its carrier dominance, the People's Liberation Army Navy was hard at work, crafting a countermeasure. Enter the Type 055, a guided missile destroyer unlike any the world had seen. It's big, sleek, and packed to the gills with advanced technology. This isn't your granddad's destroyer, it's a sophisticated predator, designed to hunt and kill. The Type 055 boasts a potent array of weapons including long-range anti-ship cruise missiles and advanced surface-to-air missiles, all integrated into a state-of-the-art combat system. But the crown jewel, the weapon that has sent shivers down the spines of naval planners worldwide, is the YJ-21 hypersonic missile. This is no ordinary missile, it's a game-changer. Imagine a weapon screaming through the sky at 10 times the speed of sound, too fast for most current missile defense systems to intercept. That's the terrifying reality of the YJ-21. Launched from the Type 055's vertical launch system, this missile can reach out and touch targets over a thousand kilometers away. That's right, a thousand kilometers. That's like hitting a bullseye in Los Angeles while standing in Denver. This incredible range is a game changer, allowing the Type 055 to engage targets far beyond the reach of carrier-based aircraft. And with a payload capable of crippling even the largest warships, the YJ-21 is a nightmare for any adversary, particularly those who rely on large, vulnerable assets like aircraft carriers. Let's be blunt aircraft carriers, for all their might, are big juicy targets. They're designed to project power, not necessarily to take a punch. Their defenses, while formidable, are designed to deal with subsonic anti-ship missiles and aircraft, not hypersonic weapons like the YJ-21. Imagine a boxer with a glass jaw facing a heavyweight slugger. That's the challenge carriers face in the age of hypersonic missiles. Even a single hit from a YJ-21 could inflict catastrophic damage, crippling the carrier's flight operations or worse. And with the Type 055's ability to launch multiple hypersonic missiles, the potential for a saturation attack that overwhelms carrier defenses is a real and present danger. The carrier, once the undisputed queen of the seas, suddenly looks vulnerable. The YJ-21's range isn't just impressive, it's strategically significant. Carrier air wings, while potent, have a limited combat radius. They can only venture so far from the carrier before they need to turn back for refueling or risk running out of fuel. The YJ-21's range, on the other hand, means that a Type 055 could potentially cripple a carrier strike group without ever entering the range of its fighter jets. This creates a dilemma for carrier commanders. Do they risk sailing within range of these deadly missiles, or do they stay back, ceding control of the seas to their adversaries? It's a tough choice, one that highlights the changing face of naval warfare. The days of carrier battle groups swaggering with impunity across the globe might be coming to an end. While the Type 055's anti-carrier capabilities are undeniable, it would be a mistake to pigeonhole it as a one-trick pony. This is a multi-role warship, capable of tackling a wide range of missions. 
It can provide air defense for its fleet, hunt submarines and even launch land attack cruise missiles. Think of it as a Swiss army knife of naval warfare versatile, adaptable and always dangerous. This versatility is key to China's naval strategy. The Type 055 isn't just about sinking carriers, it's about projecting power, controlling sea lanes, and defending China's interests in an increasingly contested maritime domain. The emergence of the Type 055 and weapons like the YJ-21 signal a potential shift in the balance of naval power. The era of unchallenged carrier dominance may be drawing to a close. Navies around the world are taking notice, investing in hypersonic missiles, long-range strike capabilities, and new defensive technologies. The future of naval warfare is likely to be characterized by high-stakes standoffs, where long-range precision strikes and sophisticated defenses dominate the battlefield. The aircraft carrier, while still a potent symbol of naval power, may find itself increasingly vulnerable in this new era. The Type 055 destroyer with its potent blend of firepower range and versatility offers a glimpse into the future of naval warfare, one where speed, precision, and the ability to strike from afar will be paramount. The game has changed, and the Type 055 is a clear sign that China intends to play for keeps.